the first couple of years we just have theory where we learn kind of all the basic science, all the base like the science behind the diseases, and then from third year onwards we get put into clinical scenario um, like clinical settings, and we then have to use all that knowledge and apply it in kind of a real life situation with a real life patient in front of us with real signs and symptoms that are nothing like how you would expect when you're being taught it. We're in East London, obviously it's London, England. Um, there's a huge Bengali population around and that kind of different like lots of different cultural settings um, and like people from different cultural and social backgrounds is really really like strange to like kind of get your head around and I think it's been really really useful coming to Bath and experiencing that and be like having the opportunity to deal with a lot of different people with a lot of different views. Obviously, as a doctor, you will have to ask certain questions regardless of who you're speaking to, but it's the way that you have to phrase certain things so as to not offend certain people. Like, I speak Arabic. A lot of people, because we're in this community, assume that I speak Bengali or another Asian language. When I come into contact with Arab people and I can speak to them, and you can see the kind of like difference it makes to their care when they actually can communicate with someone. It just makes them feel a lot more at ease, it makes them feel a lot more confident and you can tell that they kind of leave the consultation feeling a lot better than they would have if they were only there understanding about half of what was being said. After my second year, I did a BSc in oral biology, and I think the most important thing that taught me was how to be an independent learner um, and just kind of take responsibility for my own learning because you were kind of just left to it. You knew what you had to do broadly, but you had to go out and research things by yourself. Um, I learned how to do PubMed searches, how to like research the literature, how to critically analyse the um, different literature. Um, when using statistics, um, we had to use different statistics programs. I had to learn how to do that, how to interpret what they like the results they gave back. And I haven't done math since like GCSE, so things like that, I think, are just really, really useful because I'm not going to get an opportunity to learn that stuff again. And it's just always going to be useful because so much of medicine is becoming like research based. Um, I did oral biology, and I definitely acquired a substantial amount of knowledge, of new knowledge, um, about the kind of oral side of things. Um, I did a community-based project um, working with Somali and Yemeni communities kind of just down the road that I never even knew existed. I thought it was really, really, really amazing opportunity and I'm so glad that I actually got the opportunity to work in it.